So, I'm seven years old and I'm shooting a a thirty thirty. You ready? Ready. Find it in the scope. Okay. Don't put your finger on the trigger yet. Okay. Okay. So you ready to shoot it, buddy? I'm ready to shoot. Okay. Safety is off. Take your time. Okay. I actually wasn't scared. What do you think? It was pretty good. I wasn't scared again. Did you hit the target? I, I think I did. Let's go down here and see. <laughs> Careful. I'm going to try to get it out. Okay, yeah. let's walk down here and see if you hit the target. Oh yeah, much better. That was 85 yards, 7 years old, 30-30. If you can see that, he hit right here in the corner of the tape. Today we've got this suppressor from Quiet Boar and we just finished building it yesterday, I think it was. And um, thanks to Jason for sending us these nine millimeter. Yeah. Can you fill it up all the way this time? Okay. Watch, this only time I'm five. only gonna need five rounds. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. I've got 22 rounds loaded up in my mag. And let's try and see if we can hit all the plates. I've actually never shot this Texas star before and I have six shots total. Daddy, go up there and get the gun. Come on. And hurry. Because you are going to shoot this with them spinning. Ready, set. Hurry. Shoot it, Daddy. All right, these are these are subsonics. Let's see how much louder they are. And there's no way I'm going to be able to hit this. Come on. There's no way. <laughs> I can't even hit one of them. Just keep shooting in the same spot, full auto. Maybe I'll try tracking it, one. and then nope. No, that wasn't a full mag, but that's impossible. <laughs> There's no way you could clear that with it spinning like that. The P320RX worked perfectly. You ready to shoot? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. Give me a high five. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're gonna do some drills with Alex, and these are my weapons of choice. My 
CP33. I like everything about it. And my Ruger Mark IV Lite. And I'm going to be running the Chris Vector. And then I have my Glock 34. The first drill we're going to do today is two shots on each target. Perfect. Perfect. Three point six five. There are hits. Look at this. Hey, honey, look at your hits here. Yeah. I actually took the mag, the round out of the chamber, and put it in the mag. Alex's turn. <laughs> Ammo. I haven't ran through my Glock, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, if something happens, you can just blame it on the ammo. <laughs> That's why I said it beforehand. Yeah. Um, so, Autumn just got a 3.65. Now it's my turn, and we'll see how it goes. On okay. the beep. Oh, crap. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> 3.77. She beat me. She got me. <laughs> Autumn, you got her by a tenth of a second that time. <laughs> Good job. We're going to do five shots, reload five shots. All right, on the tape. You ready? Ready. Nine point oh two. How'd that feel? Good. You gotta beat mine, Alex. It was 9.02. Alright, I'll try my best. Okay. Alright, ready? <laughs> 5.6A. You definitely took on with that one. You beat me the first time, but I got you the second. <laughs> Competition's getting fierce. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing for the next one? I think you guys do a little running. How about going. Alex makes it up this time? Oh, oh! There you go. Oh, okay. Let's see. I just wanted to be harder for myself. Oh, you want to grab me the mag? Okay. So what you're gonna do when your dad hits the buzzer? This is gonna be the starting point. Okay, so hands on hips. So ready, set, go. Once that goes, you're gonna grab the gun. You're gonna load from station. Okay. So the gun has to be loaded from the station. Once it's loaded, everything stays down right. We're gonna run, 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 run. So this is, come on. We're gonna run, run, run. Hit stage one. Uh, we have three rounds, right? Three yeah. Rounds? Okay. One, two, three. So this is your opportunity. This is your choice. After you run dry, you can do a reload here, or in motion, you can do a reload in motion while you're coming to stage two. Okay, so you can either reload there or here, or to save a lot of time, do it all in one motion. Yeah. So one, two, three, come dry, and then I want you to come straight. Here, one, two, three, reload, pop, 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 and then once you get here, pop, So, what would be the advantage of reloading as you're moving? It's faster. Yeah. Because by the time you get here, you're already ready to go, and you go, pop, 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 and you're all good to go. So. In the motion, keep those motions going as you're going, as you're yeah. Yeah. traveling along. All right? All right, go tell Alex. All right, so what's the course of fire? So you have the gun unloaded okay. with the mag. On the buzzer, you load the gun. Okay. Run. Over here, you have the choice. Well, shoot free. Uh -huh. You have the choice to load here. I mean, reload here. Reload on the move. Okay. Or reload at the next station. Okay. <laughs> She's probably going to beat me on that too. <laughs> probably. probably. I love it. I love the confidence. Because <laughs> she will. Alright, on the beep.
Nice. Those reloads were awesome. Good job. All right, 22.77. I bet I could do better than that, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was an awesome run. It was awesome. Good job. No, you didn't even practice that. Well, All right. I one time and she ran it, like, <laughs> so good. That was unbelievably impressive. You did really I good. Like, I know a time. so many adults good. that would have screwed that up. Shooter ready. Yeah. Oh, hands on me. Okay, now I'm ready. Oh, crap. That was really fast. <laughs> Fifteen thirteen. Oh! Beat her just by a few. She beat me. No, wait. Did I beat her or did she beat me? You beat her. By like five seconds? Seven seconds. Oh! So we're going to do five shots on one target, then five shots on another target okay. with the rifle. Okay. And then drop the rifle, run to the middle. Uh, station and then shoot the last target that we didn't shoot with the rifle. Okay. With Is five. That with five? All yeah. right. Sounds five, good. Five, five. Show me how it's done. All right. Ready? Ready. Eleven point six eight. <laughs> Grandkids will hunt the fish. Do you? Do you get that chance? Okay. So you, so you are kind of passing that on. Well, that's important. I know my dad takes a lot of value in that with the grandkids. Do the grandkids ever come here? Do they like it here? So you're a, you're an artist too. Just get out there. Like I said, I kind of like getting creative around here, you know. Yeah, and I and I look. I see beyond the, this. Is uh, it says redneck. Yeah. So is that is that a title you're proud of, or is that well, you, yeah, you're just kind of making? In the south. So you, so you laid down some some roofing material here. Yeah. Looks like oh, yeah. that's your floor. And uh, do you take naps out here? Yeah, we take out here at nine. Nine and two. Doesn't the traffic keep you up? No. no. Who's your name? My girlfriend. Oh, put her on camera. <laughs> she wants to be on camera, sure. Hey, honey, you want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? How many dogs you got? Fourteen. Holy cow. There's not a lot of diversity here with Confederate flags.
everybody. Today we're out here shooting the AK and we're actually going to be saying goodbye to an old friend and um, it's really not that bad. It's not what you think. And I know y'all been talking about how bad this hat's been looking so we're going to say goodbye to the hat today too. around that live like this or, are you, or is this unique? Just me. Put the wood in there, put the grill on it. What do you make? Hamburgers, hot dogs, corn dogs, pizza. How do you keep your food cold? Nice chest, nice. How do you go into town? How far is that? Eight miles. You walk eight miles to get groceries? Well, somebody give me a ride, but if they don't, yeah, I walk. How do you spend your spare time? Mostly fishing, huh? Okay. Working on the place, maybe? What's your girlfriend do? About the same thing.
underneath there, don't it? How bad is it? Well, we get after it with some tools. We can fix it up, I guess. The front end's pretty banged up. I think I can straighten her out. Think that engine fit? Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Well, that's step number one. Got us some chassis and a frame. Just might work out for us. All we got to do is straighten out that front end, drop that engine in there, and get the dang car to the starting line. We got two and a half days. <laughs> it's a tall order, all right, but we're gonna have to do it. You know, Jesse really stuck his neck out for us this time. Yeah. While Cooter and the Dukes had rehauled and overhauled that piece of junk into something respectable, but they still ain't discovered the gold stash behind the dashboard. These old leaf frames look just fine. And I think them new shocks you put on there ought to help us out a whole lot. Well, that's good, because if she gets to swaying, she'll go out from under you. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Welding the door shut. What are you doing that for? Well, you weld the door shut on a racing car for safety's sake. 
How do you get in? Climb through the windows. Well, count me out. Okay, everybody. Oh. Time to take a break. Hallelujah. All right. Hit it. Hit it again.
Ben is old boy's gonna run awesome, too. And I love the way you put that old one on the side, fellas. Yeah, well, from now on out, that's gonna be the story of our lives. We start out with nothing, it's number one here all the way. Hey, man, <laughs> I'll tell you something else. Uncle Jesse couldn't have come up with a better name. I mean, after we put the rebel flag on there and stuck that Dixie horn in there, there couldn't have been nothing more appropriate than General Lee. Well, y'all... We
back natural support and strengthens your arms. This is the way beginners learn, on the ground. No, but uh, finally got you lying down. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you take up bow hunting? Well, I didn't have no choice. See, Luke and me's on probation and can't own no guns, so see, they use those bows there to throw rocks. At what? Well, at game. See, we're running low on food, we have to go hunting. Now, Jesse, he don't take kindly no government assistance. He'd rather starve. Hey, are you going to the orphanage picnic on Saturday? Well, I... You have to come. It's the money that you and Luke collected that got us rolling. Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, that could turn into a real barn burner. Bo, may I ask you something seriously, please? Where is all that money really coming from? It's so much, and it's always in quarters. Look, the true source is a very prominent man who'd be real embarrassed if everybody knew. Oh, he's a philanthropist. He'd been called everything. We still have a long way to go. But if it hadn't been for him, we couldn't even begin. I'd love to thank him. Well, love me. I'm the go-between. Bo. Yeah. Why do you always try to be funny? Well, because, uh, you scare me to death. Yeah, we might get, get complicated. Would it be easier if I said I was leaving? Leaving? A job. This was only temporary. Damn, why didn't you tell me that? Well, is it important? Sure it is. Well, I don't know why, but I always think that the world ticks on my schedule, and then... I really hate that you're leaving, Jill. Why? Well, maybe it's because you do scare me, and believe me, not many women do. How much time we got? Well, enough. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been a wild boar you'd have missed. If that'd been a wild boar, he wouldn't have been in our backyard. Well, now, that ain't necessarily so. This is Bo and Luke Duke. They're cousins. They fight the system. Any system. This is Hazard County, where you never know what's going to happen next. That's Cousin Daisy. She works as a waitress, but aspires to better things. A Daisy can cause more trouble than a brand new baby. Uncle Jesse is a Duke patriarch. His word is law, usually obeyed out of love, but always obeyed. Well, who'd you say that was singing? It's Jesse Coulter. And for all you folks ignorant of good music, Jesse Coulter is one of the world's best singers, though I'm partial to June Carter myself. Coulter's latest on the Big 40 Country Hits album. I just can't believe it. <laughs> it sounded real good, Daisy. It took me forever to write the notes down, and, and after all these years of writing songs, I sent it to this music publisher, and now Jesse Coulter is singing it. Well, that's great, Daisy. Uh, how much did they pay you? Uh, the pay? Well, they did pay you. No, I paid them. That's the sort of business we ought to have. Well, there was this magazine ad where you pay $50 and they publish your song. So I saved up all my tip money till I had enough, and I sent my song in, and I got this letter back saying it was published. Now, Daisy, uh, some of those ads are for phony operations. Do you think Daisy's been took? Well, they got Daisy's song. Jesse Coulter got a recording, and Daisy's got $50 less than she had before. That's took. And fifty dollars in nickel tips ain't easy to come by. When you record a song, you're supposed to get royalties. Well, uh, where is this publishing company anyway? It's Lester Star Music Publishing in Atlanta. That place ain't been right since Sherman burned it. Now come on, I'll bet this Mr. Star just made an oversight. Think we ought to go into Atlanta and check it out? Maybe you ought. But. Uh... 
You got to remember, boys. You got to give them city people the benefit of the doubt. It ain't right to take advantage of them just because they don't know no better. So just keep it simple. General Lee was their racing car. They built him from the wheels up. Although they had another car, when the boys expected trouble, they drove the general, which meant they drove him a lot. Now, why can't I go with you? It's my song. Because huh? Jesse told us to handle it. Okay.
It's on top and on this side. Yeah. Okay, get that finger off the trigger. Keep it off. Now you can't put the safety on yet because the bolt is locked back. You don't have to worry about that. I want you to focus on the trigger okay. and where to put your eyes, okay? So you're gonna keep your finger off the trigger. Now it's a very, very light trigger, okay? Okay. So it's gonna be important that you pull and then let your finger out. Otherwise, you're gonna get multiple shots and I don't want you doing that, okay? Okay. I mean, it sounds fun. You got it firm against your shoulder. Okay, let's get this mag in. I don't know if I stand up. Do you wanna stand up? Yeah. Okay, well, let's move this. Good job speaking up. You gotta know what's comfortable and what's not. How's that feel? Good. Spread your legs apart a little bit. Okay, kinda like a boxer, a little more, a little more. You don't have to get on your tiptoes. Let, okay. let yourself down. Okay? Or do you have to be on your tiptoes? I have to. Okay, well that's that's not safe, okay? Let's okay. let's get you back on the seat and I want you to get on your knees. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Did that work better earlier? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Now crouch down. Look at that, tell me how that feels for you. Is that much better? better. Okay, is that much better? Yeah. Get your head up there. Don't be don't be scared of that. Okay. All right. Now here's what's gonna happen. The safety is not on. You're doing good with your trigger finger. Okay. okay? The safety's not on. So like that. So when I drop the bolt, I'm gonna flip the safety. Okay. Keep your finger yeah. off. Now safety's on. Try to pull the trigger. It yeah. won't work, will it? Yeah. Okay. So get your finger off. We know that it's safe. Shoulder it. How's that feel? Good. Okay. How about How about that? Is that any better? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. I'm afraid that it's resting on the, the uh, magazine, and I don't like that. Yeah, like that. Is that too high? Nope. Okay. Perfect. Get that head forward. I want to see it up. Ah. Get, oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay, earmuffs. All right. Where's your finger? Should not be where it is. Okay, good. Okay, you got five shots. I want you to keep it against your shoulder. This is gonna be harder than your 22, okay? Okay. All right. Now, I want you to see where the safety is. Look over here. See how it says safe? Yeah. And then it says fire? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip it up to fire, and then when it's good to do that, you're gonna be hot, okay? Okay. All right, get your cheek up there. Can you see through the rear peep sight? Yeah, I can. Okay. All right, safety's coming off. You're hot. Finger off the trigger. How did that feel? Pretty good. Excellent. Okay, let's see it again. Good trigger discipline. Trigger off. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Give us one more. Okay, finger off. Now I think you got one more shot. Yeah, okay, I do. make it count. Excellent. Okay. Bolt is locked back. We're going to check the chamber to make sure it's clear. Is it clear? Yep. Okay. See this button right there? That releases the magazine. I want you to kick it out. Thumb. Give it your thumb if you need to. Okay. We're totally clear. What'd you think? That was pretty good. First time you've ever shot an AR-15, uh -huh. isn't it? Now I want you to look at the camera and I want you to say, this is Little Ebbs with House of Guns. Happy shooting, everybody. This is Little Ebbs with House of Guns. Happy shooting, everybody. Oh, good job. Proud of you. Well, can we go look at my shots?
whoa. Total confusion for you non-intellectual. Close your mouth, throw the key, and lock it. <laughs> Melodie.
يعني ايه
Fat base. 